Hey, my name is Dr. Mika Riley here at Move Men Rehab and Performance. So today I'm going to take you through our ACL series. Today we are specifically going to talk about what the ACL is and how you injure it and symptoms to look for specifically after you tear your ACL. All right, so let's talk about the anatomy of the ACL itself. Inside the knee, you have four ligaments. The ACL specifically sits in the center and crosses from the outside to the inside and its primary responsibility is to help provide stability to the knee. So to make it feel more stable as you move forward quickly and as you change direction. So it's responsible for helping control those movements so it doesn't feel unstable. All right, so how do you tear your ACL? So typically you tear your ACL under a quick decelerating movement while you're changing direction. So what that could look like is somebody going through and then quickly changing on a planted foot. Um, usually 70% of the people who injure their ACL do it because of a non-contact injury, basically meaning they are not taking a hit. It just happens as they go to uh, change direction quickly. All right, now what to look for or symptoms to look for after you may have injured your ACL. There are three specific things that typically we hear from people who injure their ACLs. One is they felt a pop or heard a pop at the time of the injury while they were doing a cutting activity. Two is they went to go stand up immediately and felt unstable or their knee was buckling from underneath them. And three, swelling happened within the first two to 12 hours after injuring it. All right, so you think you may have injured your ACL, now what? The priority is to manage your immediate symptoms. One is to manage your swelling and pain. So biggest thing is to make sure you are elevating and icing to manage that swelling. Take medication as prescribed by your doctor. Uh, that may be ibuprofen uh, to reduce the inflammation inside the knee. And third is to walk around with crutches if you feel like you are unstable or unable to walk a long distance. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below or click the link to schedule an appointment here at Move Mend Rehab and Performance and stay tuned for more ACL Rehab series.